What's going on? Um, there's something that I really want to talk about in this video. Something, you know, I want to share my feelings on and kind of uh, just explore the idea of and share my opinion. I mean, I'm sure all of you have heard, I'm sure everybody knows, it's been all over the news, all over Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just all over the world, that Paul Walker, the star of the Fast and the Furious films and many other projects, has uh, passed away yesterday, November 30th, 2013. And, uh, you know, the whole world has lost its mind, you know, at, the, at this news, I mean, there's millions and millions of people posting, you know, rest in peace, Paul Walker, my condolences, best wishes to your family, you were amazing, you know, you're the, you're great, you're the greatest, you know, uh, you will be missed. And, you know, I mean, and all the newspapers, all the articles, all the social medias and news outlets, everything says, you know, uh, Paul Walker died in a car crash, Paul Walker passenger of a crash, passes away, Paul Walker dies in a, you know, car crash, fire, Paul Walker, Paul Walker, Paul Walker. Now, I mean, Paul Walker was not the only person who passed away, Paul Walker was not alone in that car. Paul Walker was the passenger of a car driven by Roger Rodas. Roger Rodas was a former race car driver, he was 38 years old, and you know, he passed away alongside Paul Walker. And Roger Rodas left behind two kids and um, his wife, and Paul Walker left behind his daughter, who's I think like 15 years old. So first off, before I really get into things, um, also as well, condolences for me. I mean, I wish your family's the best, and you know, it's a tragedy. It's sad to hear. But uh, you know. The thing that bothers me, but at the same time I kind of understand why it is the way it is, is, you know, Paul Walker is the name, you know, you hear in this, Paul Walker is the, you know, he's the reason, you know, it's just so big. There's not one article out there that's going to have its headline say, you know, Roger Road is, uh, passes away in a car crash alongside a celebrity. <laughs> you know, you're never gonna hear that. <laughs> There's no way. Paul Walker is, you know, is a name that's bringing in, you know, the, the attention and the, you know, the views and, you know, the, the you know, just the attention to these media outlets. And I mean, that's just a very small example of how mainstream media works. You know, they're trying to get their uh, face and name out there the most. You know. It's, and the way they attract views is, you know, with things like this. They say Paul Walker has passed away, and you know, Roger Rodas is just that plus plus one. So you know, it's kind of sad to, you know, when you think about it this way, and you realize that that's almost how it is. But you kind of have to realize that that's how the world works. You know, it's kind of Paul Walker dies plus one, and you know, Roger Rodas, you know. He was you know, just not as well known as Paul Walker due to Paul Walker's celebrity status. That's where, you know, it's his name that's bringing all this attention to these, you know, outlets, this media. And, you know, it, it kind of, it, it's, it's really sad to see it that way. And it, it kind of makes you feel really small in the world because, you know, <laughs> you know, if you're not a celebrity, like, like you and I and whoever else, all the billions of people in the world, we're really, you know, we're nobody. <laughs> if we pass away, nobody's really gonna know about it except our families, friends, and acquaintances. And like I said, I understand why it is that way. It doesn't bother me. I can accept this fact. You know, obviously, the more people that know you, uh, the more you know wishes that will go towards you and your family. And that absolutely makes sense. You know, he was a Hollywood star. He was a celebrity. <laughs> Millions of people know his name. And, you know, I can live with that, but what bothers me is the fact that these, you know, he, he, these, this, these news outlets and all these people and all these fans, you know, they only recognize Paul Walker in this. It, it bothers me that, you know, it, it, there's hardly any news uh, articles which say, you know, Paul Walker and Roger Road is uh, pass away in a fiery car crash, you know. I've read so many articles, so many headlines, and Paul Walker was the only name in there. And you know, 
that's what bothers me. I mean, it's the way the world works, the way, you know, media is. And like I said, this is just such a small example of how mainstream media works. If you look at the really big examples and you really dive into these things, you see how the mainstream media affects the world and, you know, fools us. And, you know, you really have to be careful. But <laughs> that's a, a whole other topic. Um, I just, you know, I just want to express my feelings on how I feel about, you know, the fact that, you know, nobody really cares for uh, Roger Rodas as much as they do for Paul Walker. Look at how much, uh, you know, how much love is going towards Paul Walker and his family, you know, all the celebrities who are saying, you know, their prayers and all the people who are saying their prayers and all the Facebook messages, Twitter messages, everything. It's so much more attention towards Paul Walker. And it's because of his celebrity status. It's because people know that name more than they know Roger Rodas. And like I said, I could accept that, but it bothers me that, you know, the media would just completely ignore Roger Rodas because that's not the name that's bringing all these views to their, you know, media outlet. And, you know, yeah, I just, that's, just wanted to express my thoughts on that. And also, another thing that's kind of, you know, really bothering me and I think is absolutely disgusting is, you know, the way people, the things people say. You know, I was uh, reading some of the comments, you know, about, you know, just people wishing, you know, sending their wishes and prayers and condolences. And, you know, some comments, people are saying, you know, why ta why uh, why does this have to happen to Paul Walker? Why couldn't this happen to Justin Bieber, you know? <laughs> and I've seen, this comments, I've seen these comments everywhere. I mean, like, why not Justin Bieber? Take Justin Bieber. And, you know, it's kind of, it's so disgusting to me that people, you know, would say these things just, you know, how could you wish death onto another person? Like, why why would you want Justin Bieber to die instead of Paul Walker, you know? Not only are they just, you know... They're not just... I don't even know how I can put it. I just find it so disturbing that, you know, people would wish this onto another person. And like, yeah, why Justin Bieber, you know? So much hate for him, you know? And you know, Justin Bieber honestly is just a topic in itself. I mean, when he first became famous, I said it a long time ago. I said, wait until this kid hits teenagehood. He's gonna have way too much money and power, and he's gonna do some crazy, oh, stupid now. things. And you know, I'm sure you guys have heard all the coverage and the crazy things he's done. But you know, that's not what I'm here to talk about. That's a whole other story. It just it bothers me that people would like you know wish death upon Justin Bieber and like have wanted to spare Paul Walker. I mean, I don't I don't I don't understand what, how people can do that. What, how people can say that, I think it's absolutely disgusting. You know, it's not like I'm a fan of Justin Bieber, you know. I don't listen to his music just because that's not my, you know, music type. That's not my interest in music, but I don't take anything away from him. I don't think, you know, I think he's talented. I think he's, you know, he's done this all on his own. He's, he's you know, he's gotten to where he is because of hard work. And, you know, that's good on him. And, uh... It's just, it bothers me that, you know, people would, you know, say these kinds of things and wish these things onto someone else. And, you know, this has been happening to Justin Bieber for a long time. A lot of people, you know, have been making fun of him and hoping bad things onto him. And, anyways, I mean, these are just some of the thoughts I have. I mean, I'm not taking away anything from Paul Walker, absolutely. I'm not taking anything away from him. He's a great individual. He's done a lot of great things in his life. And I believe he was either on the way or leaving an event to actually, you know, raise money for, you know, the typhoon relief in the Philippines, you know, where the Philippines was hit by a, a not like a huge storm and millions of people, oh, sorry, like tens of thousands of people have died and, you know, there's millions if not billions of dollars in damage. And, I mean, Paul Walker, you know, he was raising money or donating to, you know, to help these people and help this country and, you know, he passed away moments later. It's just such a sad thing to hear that, you know, he was doing something so good and, you know, his life was taken away from him. And, you know, I mean, it's a, uh, it's just really unfortunate. So, I mean, and I feel like, you know, we've kind of, all, all like, celebrities die and people kind of lose their minds, you know. But we, we've kind of grown numb to the fact that, you know, there's poverty and kids are starving in Africa and, you know, there's violence all over the world and people are dying, you know, all over the world and there's 
kids with guns in Africa and here and there and we kind of just accept the fact that you know this is happening around the world we kind of grow numb to the feelings and the emotions of this and you know we kind of just you know accept the fact that there's kids starving in Africa you know but the moment a celebrity dies you know the world loses its mind and I mean I understand why that is you know something that's been happening for hundreds of years you kind of grow accustomed to it and uh, you know I'll show a picture of Paul Walker's the vehicle he was driving the before and after picture and you can see that the car is absolutely destroyed I mean there's no way anyone could have survived that there's almost nothing left of the vehicle so uh, that's all I wanted to talk about guys just share my two cents and my condolences to Paul Walker, Roger Rodas and their family thanks for watching guys